Hello everybody, this is Kyrex with more of This Week in Kyrex. Today is Wednesday, March 29th of 2017, though only for the next half hour, because I'm late at recording this. But come on, it's me, what'd you expect? So, what's new in the world of me? That's a good question. I, uh, did a Star Trek tournament, that was lots of fun. Something I haven't done in not since December 2015, so it's been a little over a year. All that being said, though, I didn't do half bad. Could have done better, but I usually can, you know. Ah, uh, yes, remember to water your crops, Kyrix. You're not that far along yet. But you can get away with not doing that shit. Uh, been playing a lot of Civ 5 recently. Some of it with Sammy, in fact. But, uh, Star Trek Tournament, it, uh, was the Klingon Civil War Month 3 OP event. And, unbeknownst to me, there were special rules for the tournament. Like, you had to have at least one Romulan ship and at least one Klingon card. Fortunately, I, by dumb luck, built almost that exactly. I had a Romulan ship, a Ferengi ship, and a Bajoran ship that had one slot open. It was an elite talent slot. So I borrowed a Klingon elite talent, and boom, tournament legal team. But I had a lot of fun, even if I did lose. Uh, that being said, I did slightly, though not significantly, better at hero clicks uh, yesterday. We did 500 points anything goes, which was my excuse, my reason to use the Millennial Tablet from the Yu-Gi-Oh! OP kit. Only one person had ever played against that, and, uh, so it, it was, it's a lot of fun. In power terms, I'd put it halfway between the Infinity Gauntlet and the Utility Belt. The versatility of the Utility Belt and some of the power of the Infinity Gauntlet. Um, not much other than that. I've been watching a Let's Play, I think it was Shadefire, of uh, Resident Evil Revelations 1. Because, you know, I like me some Res Rep. I decided, you know what, I've done all these Resident Evil Revelations things. How about I watch someone else's work on the same game for once? You know, I don't usually watch other people's Let's Plays of something I've already done. If anything, what'll happen is I'll watch a person play something and then think to myself, wow, that looks awesome. I should do a Let's Play of that. And that's what happens. Very rarely do I go looking for shit that I've done. That being said, now I'm kind of curious if there are any good Crusader Ascenti Let's Plays out there. Might look that up, actually. It's a good game, that. Horrifically underappreciated, uh, that game. I like it. Oh dear. Yep. Let's, uh, let's take the crops. Do a good old crop drop. Corn. And we'll just close down for the night. But uh, the, the team I played was Mercs for Money. Did not fare too well. Because while they're good, they really don't have the firepower to do much. I won a single match. Uh, I got wiped in the first round. Beaten in the third round. And won the second round. I just barely squeaked by not losing my last figures. Actually, I lost all of my figures in the third round, and against any other team, that would have been a loss. But one of the things that the Yu-Gi-Oh! Dial does is it generates little bystander pogs every turn. And some of those were still alive, so I'm like, hey, I've still got figs on the board. <laughs> There's nothing you could do, you know? And I ran out the clock. And, uh, 
But the second round, man, I beat a team that I had no business competing against, much less beating. But it was fun. I, I had fun. It was a good, uh, good demo for my my resource dial. I just wanted to test it out. Later on, I'll fuck around with it and see who's a team that can properly utilize it. Because it's got a lot of really awesome skills that it can loan to to other characters, but the ones I had couldn't really utilize half of them. You know. I don't know. Maybe I could whip up a nice Avengers team for it. But hey, I got uh, some free figures. A lot of free figures, actually. Um, basically, the judge loaned me most of my team. I had, like, two of the figures myself. And this other girl loaned me another figure. He, uh, The judge had loaned me the Deadpool core version of Madcap, and there's the Mercs for Money version as well. They're, they're identical in, in all but two aspects. Their sculpt is different, and they have a different trait and keyword. They both have heroes for hire, but one also has Deadpool core. And of course the sculpt is different, but other than that, they're not really that... that their dials are identical, their other keywords that aren't Deadpool core are identical, and their powers are identical. So... But, uh, <clears throat> he gave me that, and then a guy had drawn Madcap and a couple other things, and I mooched off of him. You know? So it was, it was worth showing up for. Plus, I got the other LE that I won, the other prize big, which was Falcon. Now, he's not he's not as good as some of the other Falcons, but he's, he's a cool figure just in general. He's a cool character. I like Falcon. But, uh, yeah, it was, it was just a good day. Oh. I had a lot of fun with it. Gotta get a hold of the judge because he forgot to text me his info for my references. Because I need references to apply for this job. And once I get that, I will work on the job application. I'm finally ahead of shit on just about everything. Within the next couple days, I've actually kind of taken a break from recording just because of the mad rush I've had with all the shit I had to do. Like, this is the first time, the first week, because I was thinking myself, oh, I'm going to have to record Xenoverse, and then I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm nine weeks ahead, bitch. So that that's a good feeling to be ahead on Xenoverse. Not as ahead as I should be. I should be done with Xenoverse and working on Battle of Z, but pick your battles, you know? But, yeah, on that note... Um, Within the next day or two, I'm going to start on Final Fantasy 2. Just really digging into that. Because it needs to be done. It really does. And once it's done, I can work on Sweet Coden 2. And then once that's done, maybe finish Undertale. But honestly, what's going to happen is once uh, Sweet Coden 2 and Final Fantasy 2 are done... I'm going to have a good look of how the year looks. Like, I'm going to know where those games let off. Like, will they get me through 2017? Will they cut into 2018? Will I fall short? And Final Fantasy 2 is almost certainly going to be chased by, uh, by, I think it's Philly Fantasy 6? Yeah, Philly Fantasy 6 will chase Final Fantasy 2. And Sweet Coden 2 will be chased by Resident Evil Revelations 2. And once that's up, you know, that'll get me well, well, well into 2018. Hell, ResRev 2 by itself is currently 50 videos, and there's still a ton of shit I haven't touched on. I haven't done Countdown, I haven't done, uh, haven't done Invisible, haven't finished The Struggle, haven't done No Mercy Mode, you know? And I actually need to playtest those on my uh, personal game, just, you know, to see the mechanics of them. Like, how forgiving is countdown mode? Is it like, do I have to finish it within three seconds of, like, the world record time or I, or I lose? Or do I have leeway? 
uh, invisible mode with uh, Moira's flashlight, do I have to be actively pointing it, like in weapon mode, to see enemies? Or does just turning with the flashlight on do it? And is the computer smart enough to point them out for me in invisible mode? Or do I have to play or control it? Those are important questions that need to be answered. Likewise, the same goes for little Natalie, Natalia. Can she continue to see their auras? Or do I have to be in pointer mode and just tap it across stuff? You know, it's, it's things to think about. Kind of a big deal, actually. And... Well, obviously I am thinking about it, you know? But uh, once that's done, once all of that is done, once No Mercy is... Or not No Mercy, once Countdown's done, once Invisible Mode is done, once the struggle is done and I've unlocked all the special weapons, because by then I'll have done my S rank through to get that weapon, I'll have knocked my time down to under either three or four hours, I forget which it is, to get the rocket launcher and all that shit, then and only then will I tackle No Mercy mode and see what I can really do. And then that'll finish off the game, and that will take me... Depending on if I wait for Anubis or another player two to come up, or if I try and tackle it alone, maybe a week and a half? Longer if there's a player two involved, because it's just that sheer hassle of aligning our schedules and getting them there, here, whoever it is. Even if by some weird circumstance I were to recruit one of my two roommates into it, just lining up their schedules with when I'm conscious, you know? And I don't think I can. But, uh... But the beautiful thing is, I have time. I have all the time in the world. You know, even... Even if I wait until the very first episode of ResRev 2 goes up, that still gives me 50 weeks before I have to worry about any of this shit. Well, 49 weeks. Week 50 is when it matters. But you, you get the idea. That's a lot. A lot of time. A lot of fucking leeway. A lot of things that I can just get ahead of myself on, you know. I don't even remember what you make a miner's tree with. I remember it being something kind of stupid. Something I usually prefer to just buy rather than, you know, make. Or maybe it's a kitchen item? I don't fucking know. It seems like it's a kitchen item. But, uh, please. But coffee beans are a thing, so let's snatch these, put them in the box. Good to go. And just for the fuck of it, let's hit the, um... There's a word. The mines. Let's hit the mines. I haven't done that in a while. Oh good, six normal mushrooms. This would be perfect to take into the mines with me. Six purple mushrooms would be better, but, eh. Run the race you got, you know? But yeah, Res Rev 2... ResRev 2 will get me just... It's its a year's footage by itself. I have no concerns on that score. None whatsoever. It will earn its fucking spot on my playlist. <clears throat> Don't you concern yourself there. Um, then, of course, I've got to go back to the Bureau, which... I was worried because I thought I did the Bureau first and then XCOM, and it turns out I did XCOM first and then the Bureau. Because I thought that was going to fuck with my schedule. I'm like, no, I'll just tack it on to the end of the Bureau normally because I've got the DLC. And that gives me time to maybe get a hold of Eisen and try and organize something with him because I got, I want to do a couple things with him, potentially. So used to my good sword that I forgot this piece of shit was a piece of shit. But yeah, my my schedule's looking good right now. 
didn't realize I had the copper pick already. This is soothing as crap, man. The suit's wonderful. But yeah, if I can get far enough ahead, if I can finish Undertale, finish Xenoverse, finish War, uh, Battle of Z, rather, finish Final Fantasy and Suicoden 2, and get into 2018's schedule on every single day of the week, to the point where all of 2017 is done, I don't need to worry about anything, then I will start on my big projects, like, uh, Star Ocean, and Azure Dreams, and maybe go back and do a couple of my blinds that never finished, like Nino Kuni, and Skatebird Dungeon and whatnot. Hell, I, I need to finish fucking Skatebird, too. That's a thing that I've been sorely neglecting. It's poor little Chocobo Racing. Like I said, the further the further ahead I get, uh, the more options open up. Like uh, Mondays are set. <clears throat> between oh, fuck, what is it? Between Peace Walker and freaking Ground Zeroes and Phantom Pain, I've got to have about three years worth of footage on there. I think I actually had to start the 2019 schedule because one of those games. I just don't remember which one it was. Perfect. Are you kidding me? So many, so many damn diglets. Freaking diglets. Please don't kill me. There we go, perfect. But I am so just so far ahead of where I need to be in general. Not not all in all cases, like <clears throat> up until last week I was three weeks behind on uh well two weeks behind on Xenoverse. And then the recording basically put me three weeks behind by like an hour. But once that got uploaded I was able to uh do the other nine episodes that followed it that had already been recorded and that put me right back ahead of things again. But yeah, there's there's so much going on with Phantom Pain that I need to get back to soon. <clears throat> it's just anyone's guess which of the, the many games I've been working on that I'm going to jump into first. Because Undertale, I'm set on Undertale. Undertale, I just gotta work on the pacifist. Well, not work on. I've, it's already done. I've gotta upload the pacifist run, but that doesn't even need to go up until June. Likewise, I think that's when Suicoden and Final Fantasy II both go up. So. I mean, you've got those little moments in June. You've got how far ahead I actually am on Xenoverse, which is decent. About a little over two months. Give or take. <clears throat> You've got that infinite amount of freaking Metal Gear and the Resident Evil shit that I've got done and XCOM and the Lego games when I get those back into gear, you know? I mean, it, w once I get around to them, I will have so much shit that I'm ahead of schedule for that I can actually afford to take 
time and just have a job once you know I get it. And I won't have to worry about, oh, kyrick has got a job. Oh, no, videos are going to stop. No. No, videos are going to keep on fucking rolling like they always have. With the occasional stutter because, hey, I'm a procrastinating piece of shit. But you knew that when you subscribed. And if you didn't, I'm sorry. <laughs> I honestly have half a mind when I finally make a trailer to put that in there. I'm a procrastinating piece of shit, so expect numerous delays every now and then. Sometimes I just need to get my shit together. And by sometimes, I mean all the time. The reason I keep running on those dirt patches is I'm trying to get enough of the moles because they don't spawn on later levels and I hate coming back. Okay, we're gonna drop one fucking cherry bomb here. Well, I only have one, I guess. Down we go. Fuck it, we're done. This is enough stuff. But yeah, there, there's quite a bit going on, and most of it's pretty cool for me, actually. Oh, shit, that's right. There was, a, there was a thing that happened. Two bad things and a good thing. Good thing being when my aunt came up to, basically, my mother bought me some food to help get through the month because I fell a bit short. And I had mentioned to her, oh, I wish I'd known you were bringing the stuff up to me instead of mailing it to me because... I was going to, uh, I would have asked you about getting some money for a KFC buffet, because I, I was just craving chicken. And Nilla wafers, but that's that's a whole other story. And she, she hadn't left yet. She was basically on her way, as it were. And so, uh... But she was on her way, and she told me when she got here, she handed me ten bucks, and it was from my mother's roommate, who basically was going to give her twenty for gas, and she kept trying to give it back, and then she ended up taking it and giving me ten to go to KFC. Well, right before I left to leave for KFC, I had closed my door behind me, like I always do, went to go back in, and my door was stuck. And I'm thinking, oh no, I locked myself out, but I hadn't. What it was is the little, I don't even know what it's called. Let's go with latch. That little bar that's uh, sloped on one side to let it go, and then it's like flat on the other to lock it in place. That was stuck in place. No matter how much I turned the knob, it wasn't moving. You know? And, uh, and I couldn't get in, and I fucked around with it for like 10 minutes or so with a butter knife. Just Trying to tease it into place, trying to knock it open, that kind of shit. And the door just wasn't happening. Just wasn't having it at all. So, finally, I the, the uh, roommate's girlfriend was in there and I told her, I'm like, I don't want to do this, but I kind of have to. And uh, I pulled my hand back and hit it with my fit right near the door. Boom! Blew open. Fucking action hero punched my door. Because I was worried, uh, at first I tried to shoulder charge it, you know, but I was worried I was going to shatter the door. It's, you know, this house is old to begin with. And, uh, I could hear the damn thing splintering when I tried. So I tried to hit it, and I'm surveying the damage, and the door itself is cracked where the, the thing was. And the door frame was cracked, though it might have been to begin with. And the metal bar is gone. I still haven't found it. That was like Monday, not Monday, that was like Friday or some shit. 
So anyway, leave for KFC. Get on the uh, stretch of road where basically I go straight until I turn right at the place. So I turn on my GPS just to give myself an idea of where it is, because the buffet closes at 8 and it's like 7 or so, I'm thinking, oh, am I going to have time to eat? Which I did. So my roommate, not my roommate, my friend had sold me this bike and it came with a cell phone holder. Which I rarely use because I almost never remember to pick the damn thing up immediately. I always come back before I like go in wherever I am, but it's too easy for someone to walk off of my phone because I'm an idiot. So I ride for a little bit longer, then I glance down and I don't see the phone. So I start checking my pockets, not there. I turn around and basically spend about five, six minutes or so backtracking on this straightaway and I find it in the street. You know, with the cover off and the battery in the road and I am so thankful that nobody ran the damn thing over. Either because no one came that way or because they just missed it or maybe they saw it and drove around it, but it was as intact as it ever was. But, oof. But I did get a lot of chicken. A lot. And anyway, we're going to call it here because I've run out of shit to talk about. Thank you for uh, checking out this week in Kyrix, and I'll see you next time, everyone. Bye bye. <laughs>